Hi, welcome to this very special interview series, Overcoming Overwhelm, a nervous system approach to health, wellness, and success. I really wanted to create this series for you because you need this information. A healthy, well-regulated nervous system is crucial for you to achieve any change that you want in your life. Let me repeat that. A well-regulated nervous system, one that's not stuck in survival, is crucial if you want to change anything about your life. In order to overcome challenges with unwanted behaviors like emotional eating, drinking, spending, scrolling, people-pleasing, outbursts, you have to have a healthy nervous system. In order to break free from old patterns and negative thoughts, you have to have a healthy nervous system. In order to develop emotional resiliency, handle your emotions instead of being taken over by them, you have to have a healthy nervous system. In order to step out of overwhelm, you have to have a healthy nervous system. In order to create success, abundance, fulfillment, and peace, you have to have a healthy nervous system. For far too long, I have watched people work tremendously hard to change unwanted habits, to get healthy, to develop confidence, to learn to love themselves, to stop falling into the same old relationship patterns and really start to live life as their greatest selves. I've watched them put so much effort in and get nowhere. You deserve more. And by learning about your nervous system and the role it has in your ability to experience the health, the wellness, the success that you want in life, you'll be able to achieve it. What this means is you can stop blaming yourself, right? You're not a failure. The reason why you haven't been able to change things for yourself, despite your best efforts to do so, lies in nervous system dysregulation. You are not broken. You're not a willpower weakling. You do have what it takes, and I'm ready to prove it to you. Maybe you're someone who's achieved success in some areas of life, but then you feel wholly lacking in others. You know, I work with a lot of men and women who have achieved success in their work life, right? But they may lack health, a sense of peace, the relationships that they deeply desire. But I'm here to tell you that you truly can have it all. I'm tired of watching incredible people like you work so hard and get nowhere. That's why we've created this interview series for you. I can't wait to share this information and the incredible experts that we've assembled to show you how your nervous system is the key to unlocking your potential. I've made it my mission to teach people how to work powerfully with their nervous system to create change. I do that in a couple of ways. First of all, in my Freedom from Emotional Eating program, I help people overcome emotional eating once and for all by getting to the underlying reasons why they use food to deal with life. Secondly, in the Greatest You Academy, which I co-founded with my incredible business partner, Mia Signs, we guide people to their greatest life by discovering and living as their greatest selves. To help you learn more, I've also created a free nervous system guide called Heal Your Nervous System, Change Your Life. There's a link to download this free guide here in this email. It contains some of the information in this video, plus a lot more. Now, I felt it was important to share a little background information on how your nervous system operates and the function it plays in your ability to change at the very start of this Overcoming Overwhelm interview series. That way you have a frame of reference as you are hearing from all the different guests. So your nervous system, you know, it's like the main switchboard of your entire body. From the command center, it acts like an electrochemical operating system communicating to you through sensations, nerve activations, and neurotransmitters about things such as how we're in relationship with our environment. It gives us information about what to move toward and what to move away from. The nervous system gauges and transmits your sense of safety from both an internal and external standpoint. And it's also bi-directional, which means you can use functions under your control like awareness, breathing, movement, somatic experiencing to influence your nervous system. By learning the very unique language of your nervous system and how to communicate with it, you can overcome trauma. You can switch out of overwhelm, gain access to the most resourceful, brilliant version of yourself. Knowing your nervous system and how you're wired to react allows you to create a life that works for your unique system. So it's important for us to start with a brief overview of the three states of your nervous system. The first is the sympathetic state. This is also known as our fight or flight state. 
And this state is all about mobilization, right? Now, it's certainly not that all sympathetic energy is negative. We need healthy sympathetic energy just to carry out the functions of our everyday life. But too much sympathetic energy is really hard on our physiology and our state of being. In the sympathetic state, many of your secondary systems, which are not essential for survival in the moment, like your digestion, your immune system, your healing system, they're all shut down. Autoimmune disease, inflammation, digestive issues, many other illnesses and maladies are the direct result of spending too much time in the, in the sympathetic state of fight or flight. When your nervous system is in that high sympathetic state, you experience a sense of unease and pending danger, which causes you to become hypervigilant. Everything is seen as a threat when you're in fight or flight mode. Next, let's turn our attention to the two states of the parasympathetic state. The first is what you might typically think of as the parasympathetic state. Um, this is the state where you can slow down, rest, digest, sleep, heal. Now you're in this state when your system feels safe without the perception or the memory of threat. In this state, you feel good. Your body functions optimally. It's also the state in which you feel safe and social, enabling you to connect with others, tune into the moment and be present, tune out distractions, explore options, feel hopeful, flexible, resilient, resourceful, and know how to get your needs met. And the best part of this state is that this allows you, this state allows you access to the highest, most evolved portions of yourself. The third state we'll talk about is another branch of the parasympathetic system called the dorsal vagal or freeze state. I also refer to it as the overwhelmed state because that's how you feel, completely overwhelmed. For many of you, this may be a familiar state. In fact, it may be so familiar that you hardly notice that it's a state at all. It just feels like life. Now, in a very simplistic way, when your system feels under threat, whether that is an actual physical threat, too many emails, too many obligations, or events that are happening in your world, and you don't feel capable of running away or fighting, your system very wisely decides that shutting down may be the best strategy for getting through the moment. And although it can look a little different in different people, the common symptoms are some degree of disorientation or disassociation, a numbness or difficulty knowing what you're feeling, not functioning well, having no energy, feeling like everything, including brushing your teeth is a major task, feeling apathetic, resigned, everything feels threatening, you're foggy, you're maybe you're unclear in your thinking, don't know how to get your needs met, it's hard to be social, connect with others, and you may be even relatively unreachable. You feel some hopelessness and helplessness. In this freeze or overwhelmed state, you just want to hide under the bed and never come out. Now, here's why I spent time sharing this information about your nervous system with you. So listen carefully because this is key. When you're in survival mode, which is that high sympathetic energy or that dorsal vagal freeze state, you can't change. Many of you are in survival mode and you've become so normalized to it that you don't even realize it. Now, I share more about how you may have gotten into survival mode in the free guide that you can download in, in this email. But just look at the world we live in today, right? Everyday life is stressful, a lot to handle. Combined with our early life experiences and other events that are deeply impactful, most people experience some degree of overwhelm on a regular basis. With so many in overwhelm, it's important to understand what happens to us when we're in overwhelm. So I want to highlight two things for you here. First of all, in the state of overwhelm, we often shut ourselves off from the body. The intensity of what we're feeling is so great that we need to simply stop feeling, stop receiving messages from the body. But this shuts us down to an important avenue of healing and growth. It's only by being embodied that we can feel safe and alive. That's why your growth in any area has to include re-embodiment. In order to reestablish a feeling of safe and secure, you have to come back inside the body and actually be with your body sensations in a loving and welcoming way. This is something I support all of my clients in doing. So here's a high level overview of how you can do that, right? Number one is to become aware of the state of your nervous system. Are you in parasympathetic ventral vagal, rest and digest, sympathetic, or the parasympathetic dorsal vagal shutdown? 
Number two, become aware of what causes more stress and overwhelm for you. What are the experiences, the thought patterns, the triggers, and then work to overcome them. The third thing I want you to know and about this is that you need to learn to come back in touch with your body and actually live in, in it. You need to learn how to calm your nervous system and how to fully feel and process your emotions and how to develop a strong, loving relationship with self. These are the keys to overcoming overwhelm and living in that beautiful parasympathetic state of rest and digest. Secondly, you need to understand how the state of your nervous system affects your ability to change. Because when you're in overwhelm, survival, your lower primitive brain essentially takes over and shuts down access to your higher brain. And this is crucial to understand if you want to comprehend why you've not been able to change in the ways that you want to. If you have limited access to your higher brain, you have limited access to your good ideas, your concern for the future, your impulse control. It's your higher brain that allows you to pause as you're about to engage in your habitual behavior and say, does this decision serve me? Does this thought pattern serve me? How am I going to feel about this in 30 minutes? It's your higher brain that can ask the question, what am I really needing, feeling, wanting right now? How can I meet my need in a more helpful way? Connection with your higher brain is essential to being able to make conscious choices that are consistent with what you really want to be doing. Now contrast that to your experience when you're feeling overwhelmed. In those moments, your nervous system is highly activated, right? And you feel like you're on autopilot. You're not aware of what your needs are, or even if you are, you simply don't know how to meet them. Your brain is literally screaming at you in that moment, hey, there's no time to evaluate. Just catastrophize, eat the food, lash out, go veg on the couch with the remote, go buy something. Uh, because there's no other solution to calm the sense of urgency that's present for you in that moment. You feel like you're in danger and your unwanted behaviors are the only way to feel safe again. In that triggered moment when your lower brain is running the show, nothing you do with your mind is going to overcome that sense of urgency. I want to say that again. If your nervous system is in a state of high alert, there's nothing your mind will be able to do to shift you out of that state. That's why you can stand there with your hand on the pantry door and say, don't do this, and end up eating anyway. Every time you tried to be, change your behavior in those moments and didn't succeed, you blamed yourself. You asked yourself, what's wrong with me? But you had no choice because you don't win against your survival system. We aren't supposed to. Now, it isn't that the mental work isn't important, right? But it's not going to be enough. Your activated limbic system, your survival system, doesn't use language to communicate. So you can't simply tell yourself that all is well and you don't need your coping mechanism, right? Your limbic system, when in full survival stress, doesn't even understand what those words mean. So you're not going to be able to reestablish safety and shift back into the parasympathetic state through your words. That's why you want to do better for yourself, but you just don't. What's required is a powerful message sent to your nervous system directly in a language that it can understand. So that's what we do, right? If we can't use our mind to get out of survival, what do we do? One of the most powerful tools that we can learn together is somatic experiencing. The key for you to change your behavior is to learn how to shift your system out of survival. Learn to shift your body out of survival and you regain access to your higher brain. Remember, your higher brain is capable of taking different action. Your higher brain is capable of putting the chips back in the pantry, thinking the new thought, staying conscious and present to change. That's the name of the game. Now, as a way to start, I invite you to take one minute to check in a few times every day. Just evaluate the state of your nervous system. What state are you in? This awareness can, alone can start to change things for you. Now, as you watch the interviews in this series from the incredible group of people that have stepped forward to share their expertise with you, I hope you'll take advantage of the information to gain valuable awareness about the state of your nervous system and how you can harness its power to break patterns that you feel currently stuck in. Your next right move is to download the guide I created for you, Heal Your Nervous System to Change Your Life. 
Um, that's in the email from today and along with this video. And dive into this interview series with all the free gifts and, and information from the incredible experts that are here. Now, if you're someone who's ready for real change, you're going to hear about a couple of incredible options for working with me to heal your nervous system and reclaim your power to create a life of fulfillment. The first is the Freedom from Emotional Eating program, and the second is the Greatest You Academy. With the right foundation, powerful guidance, there's nothing that you cannot do, be, and have. So come learn how to build that foundation in this series. I'm sending you lots of love and support.